Hello guys, welcome to another video and welcome to Doodlebug Gaming. Yes, welcome to Recipe for Disaster. This is a new chef's game or restaurant empire. So this has only just come out, it's on early access at the moment um, and it's been sort of done as we speak. Um, but as I say, it's in early access so there are little bugs and bits and bobs but so far I think it's pretty good jump straight in uh, it's a new game obviously at the moment you've got the tutorial I know some of it I don't know loads of it um, I've done the first one I've unlocked this next one and I thought why not bring you along for the ride so yeah sloppy joes we completed as you can see we've got the little hat there and there's mr. doodlebug himself um, so we're going to do the family business to see what we have to do with this and the objectives that we need to meet. Let's get on with it. Family business. From Paris to Rio. Your culinary adventure have taken you all around the world and introduced you to many new flavours. And exciting ideas. When you aren't eating... You're hunting down old cookery books. You've never experienced the pressure of actually running a business. Do you really have what it takes to build a successful career in this industry? Your uncle and mentor has decided to trade and the right customer employees for a peaceful retirement. He's left you the keys to his restaurant. What an opportunity. But as you stand outside the premises, the reality of the situation hits you. You're alone. There's no grills and you don't have the slightest idea what to do. A quick search on your phone to how to run a successful restaurant won't cut it. This is your responsibility now to make it work. Gordon Ramsay, if you want to become a great chef, you have to work with great chefs. And that is exactly what I did. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're going completely different than that. Um, so we've got the win conditions here. We've got to serve 30 tables. We've got to make 1,800 uh, 45 popularity. <clears throat> and we've got a bonus if it's 60. Lose condition is 3%. Let's boom it. Right, so this is our little, little restaurant empire. So let's just get rid of that. So, let's have a little look at it. Right, okay, it's much smaller than the one that I just played on. So we've got two fryers, we've got a stove, we've got a very small little restaurant. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to make it just a little bit bigger as it is now. There's no toilets either, so... Right, let's put some tiles down. Right, tiles, let's have some... Let's have them sort of tiles there, give it a little mediterranean -y look. Right, we need to do the walls as well. I would like... Uh, that's it, let's make it all gloomy and doomy. There you go, I want to take that door out. Don't want that door being there. Let's do the outside as well. We'll do standard brick, I think, on that. Excellent. Leave the chef bit in for the minute. Right, let's just take them walls down. Right, let's delete that table. Right, so this is the space that we've got to work with. I do need to put some toilets in, um, and I'll probably end up extending it around here to put the toilets in. Or I might put one if I can fit it in. So, let's do with the furniture. So, obviously, as you get tables, you get better tables, you become you know the ambient modifier is plus two in a radius of two so the better the tables the better the atmosphere and the happier the customer to be fair um, so we're gonna go with fancy wooden tables um, we don't want to block a lot I'm gonna go with three at the moment just to see if we can get some money in before oh hang on let's just put another one in there 
Um, let's move that one. Um, it's quite hard. Um, let's just put that there, put that there, put that there, put that there, there you go. Right, so you've got the main door there, they can come in and get a table. So let's just put some common chairs down first to get it going. Four seaters and a three seater. Right. So that is our little restaurant at the moment. I think we can actually, let's just move this plant. Let go over here. What we're going to do here is we're going to put a wall in there. And then, now this is going to be a toilet. Right. So, let's go to the restroom. It needs to be more, but at the moment, this is all that we've got. I do think, actually. We can do that. We can put the toilet in as that. Right, so then we can have the toilet down there and then we can have a little sink there there we go so we've got the little toilet there it's only a small one but it's better than nothing at all so let's just see we might have to I may move these around a little bit we've got 3,000 as you can see down here where's that plant Right, there you go, so there's our little restaurant. Um, I'm going to see if we can just do a little bit on the mirror side of it. You've got napkin holders, you've got a vase. Mm. Uh, yeah, but nap they can spread fire, so it's probably best not to use them. Let's put a couple of mirrors up, because it is quite a... Uh, I do want to I need to change this here to black that's it there you go right so we've got our toilet we have actually got four tables so that is good um, I'm gonna stop there I'm not gonna spend anything else on that I do need to put a grill in the actual kitchen side and there's a little top tip on this game that a lot of stuff catches fire as you can imagine by the name of disaster so I'm gonna move this forward I'm gonna put stone there right so let's go and get ourselves a grill excellent right then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come behind and I'm gonna put a wall in there There's the wall, and then I'm going to put fire extinguishers. One on that side, one on that side. I'm going to have one there and one there. So there's four fire extinguishers for that. Obviously, stuff catches fire if they're not very good cooks or anything like that. So then you need to actually produce um, someone that can actually extinguish, get rid of the actual fire itself. So I think at the moment, from where we are at at this moment in time we've got ourselves a little thing we've got our recipe here so we've got tasty clams at 25 euros we've got hot squid we've got grilled chicken egg and we've got super fried chicken we've got classic chili here banana split bacon omelette lily's t-bone steaks now these i've all i've literally downloaded from the workshop because there's workshop already involved in it um, so I've never actually done this before, so this is something else that could be quite good. Um, that would be pre-cooked, I'm not sure. Let's just see if we can grab something that we've actually got stored. We haven't got any butter, we haven't got any garlic, but it won't be long. Banana split, well, yeah, let's add that. 
add that to the for the thingy let's put it up to 14 right and now here we keep a minimum of all of these ingredients all the time so I'm going to put it to 5 at the moment these we haven't got any these we're really low so I'm just going to make everything at 5 so it always keeps 5 and what it does is it re-delivers stuff so when you want something kind on of a delivery it automatically does it and you don't have to right so we're opened up <clears throat> oh actually what I do know we do need is we need a countertop excellent right so little doodle bug here we've got people coming in already so let's just pause that a minute so doodle bug he is the higher the level the better it is so he's number two so he isn't too bad being a fryer so he can fry really well he hates serving not very good at serving he's not very good at anything else he's very good at cleaning i was quite surprised but he is so he's good at frying so obviously he will be the fryer on both of them because he's very good at it so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the staff section and we're going to employ more people so as you can see when you click on them you've got all their skills down here so Benjamin Gibson he's very good at frying and he's very good at oven he's not too great on the grill Shelley on the other hand isn't very good at the grill she's not too bad there but she's very good at serving so we will have her for serving Paul is an all-rounder as you can see he's pretty good at everything so we will hire him so you've got the tables here we are going to have Sh um, Shelley as a server so I'm just going to put Shelley on all of these tables here excellent so that's Shelley on that on here we're going to have Paul as you can see when you click on it it gives you the skill and who can actually do it really well so you know who's going to be very good at it and who's not and obviously that's going to be Paul as well so Paul's good at that so he's doing that and that Doodlebug is doing the frying only Paul's doing all that so then we need someone that can be good at the counter the countertop so Sharon is very good at the countertop so we will employ and she can do the she can actually do excellent so they will all come to work and then we can actually open for business here they come excellent so we've got them people there we've got that so now we're waiting for the customers so while we wait on the customers that are just going to be coming in now we need to set a cleaning area so we know who's going to clean what area so we're going to click a crate and we're going to bring it along we're going to click that so i want the best person to clean at the moment is doodlebug but i don't want doodlebug cleaning because he's a cook so we're going to have sharon who is working as a waiter here at five percent to clean this? I believe. She, oh, was it Shelley? Hang on, I think I pushed the wrong one there. Shelley, sorry, my bad. So Shelley can clean the tables. Shelley is obviously taking an order. And now Paul is cooking. If people want to know what people have taken or what they have, you can see the order queue. So the customer is eating a grilled chicken leg. Hopefully we get a good response back from that. Got someone else here waiting. So Shelley will go over once they're ready to take their order. 
So she was good. Paul performed really bad. So let's have a look what she thought. Grilled chicken was disgusting. Shelly served me incredibly fast. So she didn't like it. So she probably won't come back. Um, at the moment it seems okay. But it soon will get out of control. So um, yeah we've got to take it as it comes. Obviously we've still got these objectives that we need to actually make as well. The popularity being one of them. We're at 9% at the moment. So we can't let it drop any lower than that. Shelly's dropping their food off so they can actually have something to eat. Running low on sea bass. But we should be okay to be fair. And you've got to be careful of stress levels as well. You've got a new request here. So none of my favourite dishes. People could see me on the toilet. Oh. Shouldn't do. So, as you can see, the recipe here, they want stuff added. Sometimes you can add stuff, sometimes you can't. I don't think we need to add it. I think we've got enough people who do what we should do. It's a fire! So, they got the fire to out. Actually, while we're here, we'll get this place cleaning. Obviously, Doodlebug's going to clean this, and then Paul could be the next one after it. It's where the stress level goes up. And obviously that's going to be cleaned now by Paul. Excellent clean in there. Right. Customer group left because they weren't served quick enough. We're still waiting for serving here. Obviously Shelley had to have a break so going forward what we will do is we will get another waiter as well um, because obviously Shelly can't do it all on her own the ingredients have been ordered but so far it's, it's, it's going well we've got ourselves a little toilet we've got four tables that are doing well um, We've served 8 out of 30 tables at the moment, or 30 people. Um, yeah, we just need to see, make sure the staff are there, we've got the cleaning going on. Um, as we get further in field into this, uh, this is obviously episode 1, but episode 2 what I'll do is I'll try and see if we can actually employ one cleaner, so it's one cleaner doing all of it, that will, I think, will actually help, to be fair. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's, it's going really well. Ingredient discount. So we've got a level up. So Shelly's got a level up here. So customers will be willing to pay more. So they all level up. And you can increase their stats as well and skill and stuff. Obviously at the moment... Doodlebug's not very good on the stove. The only good person is Paul. So at the moment, all they're ordering is actually stuff that is uh, stuff that Paul or me can't do. I'm good at the frying, but that's all I'm good at. And at the moment, I'm on a breaking point, so I'll send myself home. If you're not sure why they're on a breaking point as you can see I'm going all over the place um, let's have a look and see what the issue is nobody likes the restaurant we are running low on ingredients chicken leg that's fine we can keep adding let's add 10 so we've always got 10 in stock next delivery is 1800 they do get stressed out over little things um, that is ridiculous. So the breaking point side of it, I, I, they need to get rid of because I think it's absolutely bollocks. You can get stressed, but they get stressed over sucking so slightly nothing. Oh, right. We need to start cleaning this, Shelley. Running low on chicken leg. We should have just got a delivery. Yes, we did. So that's good. Right, let's have a look and see if we can order any more staff. Christmas cleaning, Caroline's pretty good at cleaning. 
Benjamin is good on the stove and the oven and he's very good on frying. He's lazy and he's unfriendly. That's not too good. Cleaning, she's good at the... I mean, she's, she's good. We, we'll keep her. So now we can have... Caroline doing the frying. She can be the backup for that as well. She can be the backup for this. Is she good at... Um, no, she's not. Unfortunately, it's game over for you, but don't give up. Give it another shot. So we lost that one. Playing time, 19 minutes. And the reason behind that, and the reason we we didn't achieve what we should have achieved, is because of we went down below 9%. Um, so it had to be 3% or more. But that's fine. We shall restart the level. And we'll go again. It's been, I, I think I did it about four times last time on on the the first one that I played uh, so yeah you've the lose conditions is three percent so you can't let it go down and it is a complete start start from scratch so we need to learn from what our mistakes if there was any there's always mistakes to be fair um, what I might do is I might turn the kitchen around a little bit so let's move this there. We can do that. We can have the grills. That we can have a wall going along there. And then the fire extinguishers can be towards on that. Uh, let's lower it down. Right, okay, so. The countertops. We've got grills, we've got the fryers, we've got the stove. We've got storage, and we've got the fridge that may actually. They've got to walk quite far to get to the fridges. Put the fridges up here. Um, yeah, I was tempted to have the fry in there. Nah, it don't look good, does it? Right, let's put them all together. So you got a kitchen, little kitchen area there. Um, I'm gonna put another, put another fire extinguisher there. So. Let's, uh, that can be the holding bit. That's where they can cook. The door, serving hatch. Um, right, okay. We'll leave that. Or can I put it there? No, that'd, that'd be better, wouldn't it? I can get another one and put it along there. Oh, there you go. Can hold more stuff. All right. That's another thing. See, it says it's blocked because it's gone red. Oh, taking the walls down there. I say it can be extended if you want it to. Um, as you can see on the other one, I extended it. might do is extend it to that put that up right take this wall down toilets can be at the bottom and then you, we've got the actual restaurant itself that's the way in that's the way out going to use but I want that side that color 
give it a bit of snazz. Um, have we got carpet? No, but we have got wood. Don't know if it needs to be dark. Oh, that looks alright. Right, the wall's outside. Let's have it dark, as it's nearly near on dark anyway. Right, excellent. So we've got our little area. What we need to do is we're going to have to put some. Going to have some toilets in here. So let's do that. Put a door in. Um, door there. Another that. I don't know how that's going to work. Okay. Right. Okay. So then we would get the toilets. Have a door. Have a door there and a door in there. That would come out. Yeah, that would, that would work. Then we'd have a toilet in there and in there. Then we can have a sink at the back there. Well, that would, that would work actually. How much money we got? Two thousand seven hundred. Okay, so we've got main door in, and then you've got two toilets either side, so that's good. Right, so we've got the toilet sorted, so let's have a look at the furniture. Um, one, two, three. That would work actually. Right, let's have a common chair. Let's save a bit of dosh. Table four in the middle. Right, how much have we got now? One, two. So that's gonna. I think that's basically us anyway, to be fair. So we've got the tables. That's good. Um got the toilet at the end so that looks better let's just make sure we don't lose this again um, right let's have a look where we are so we've got Jason he's pretty good at the grill so we employ him serving to hate serving Hannah she can serve um, we need someone for this. yeah Okay, so let's open that, then pause it. So for the frying, it's oh no, it's going to be me for the frying at the moment. Um, person on that is Jason. He's good at that. Jason and then Shannon worked up. It's going to be Shannon and the stove is going to be Shannon with Jason behind so that's that serving is going to be Hannah at the moment until I can get someone else in to do that job as well so let's put Hannah in either side excellent right Ten percent popularity. So this is what we lost last time because of popularity. So we will try and see if we can do a bit better this time. Once we get some customers in, 
we've got 1196 at the moment it's minus 3303 euro but I'm sure we can change that here comes some customers Right, Hannah's going to go and serve them. Excellent, right. Let's do the cleaning rotor. Hannah can look after that side. And the kitchen. Can be looked after me. Let's make sure we've got ingredients in all the time that keep re-delivering itself. Excellent. Right. Right, ingredients have been ordered, so they're gonna come around here, then they're gonna start cooking and doing what they need. Excellent. Got toilets at the back. I think. That is going to be okay. The menu is quite basic. I don't know if we can. We could probably add that to the menu. I need to order some ingredients for it, but. I, I order a small quantity at the moment, but I will need to add more. When's that ingredients coming? Uh, 11 o'clock, so in half an hour that's coming. So hopefully no one wants it in that time. It goes quite quick anyway, so. Alright, Hannah's serving them. We're 9%. Yeah, half an hour, you've got five minutes and you'll get it all. I think they did order it, but it's just about to come. There it is, audience of audience. Orders, ingredients have been ordered. Right, so now he wants to talk. Dude, just... Go and have a word with him, dude. You normally have this, they normally... You know, I don't know why he's going to the toilet. If I'm being totally honest, I suck at cooking, but it's my dream to become a chef. You can ingredient... You can say yes or no, and to be fair... I can. I need people to know what they're doing. Uh, we're on 9%. Something's helped. Um, to get that up a bit more, um, you can add decorative items. Um, there's, there's loads of different things you can do. And hopefully more to come eventually. You can have some mirrors dotted about, make the place look a bit bigger. Um, there's some shelving as well that you could do if you wanted to. Excellent, right. We've got 636, so that'll do for a minute. Running low on a brown onion. There you go, next delivery, 12 o'clock in... 15 minutes or so. Five average customers per hour, 558% recommend dish markup. Excellent. So obviously you can increase the prices, but it's ideally only to increase the prices once you can upgrade some of these 
there's no stress at the moment. Hannah's under a little bit of stress. For some reason I am. I don't know why I'm under stress for. We love working here. Empty tables mean less money. Not sure why he's uh, under stress. Grilled smoked salmon. Can add it. Keep it nice and clean. So Hannah is under six percent stress. I'm on twenty six. I don't know why, because I'm not even doing nothing. So I must be quite a stress head, to be fair. Um, but Doodlebug ain't even doing nothing. He's standing there enjoying himself. Now I can reduce the stress on him if I ordered someone that could do the fryer as well. So if one of these people that are really good at frying. Well, any of them can like him if he's good at frying then I could um, just get him in and he can just do the firing actually he's only two pounds an hour I'm gonna get him in anyway hopefully that will reduce the stress on on me because I'm well stressed at the moment Right, let's up it a little bit. I say it's in early access, so you know there's a lot more to come and a lot more stuff that you can do with the game. So um, we're making nine pound fifty eight at the moment. So it's going to go down. There it is. Yep, I thought it was going to go down because we haven't got any customers. So that means I'm well stressed at the moment because there's no people here. I am most I am the most paid employee here, nobody likes this restaurant for Benji. Not feeling too well. Go for a rest. Got some extra reviews in the grilled salmon was disgusting. Beautiful as long as you enjoyed yourself, that's the main thing. One in low. 1600 is the next delivery. There's a bit of bug going around. Nobody likes the restaurant. Go for a rest, little bug. <coughs> He's so, um, he gets so stressed. Breaking point. I, I just don't understand it. Just go home. It is, it is absolutely ridiculous. The breaking point of it, I have no understanding because he, there's, there's no reason why he's stressed. There's hardly anyone here. No idea what he's doing at the moment. He seems to be running around everywhere at the moment. Not feeling too well. Terrific. Oh, I'll tell you what I forgot to do. I need some lighting. So, let's make, let's do some fancy wall lighting. Can spread fire, can spread fire, can spread. Oh. Let's do some wall lights. These don't spread far, so they should be pretty good, to be fair. There you go. Got some lighting involved in it now. How's Hannah going on? She's 28% stress. Yeah, it's because she's knackered in stamina. We'll need someone else serving, and he is very good at serving. Samuel. So, let's give Samuel is doing 
keyboard, well, is covering, but that should knock her stress level down a bit, eventually. We are making money, but I need to be careful we don't run out. Excellent review, we're 9%, so we're actually, the popularity is going up, so that's good. 12%. That one seems to be unwell for some reason. I don't know what that's all about. Well, we've got to level up on Hannah. So, Lone Wolf, Nightcrawler, or Silky Voice. Let's have Silky Voice. I'm not sure what a Silky Voice is. Maybe it's... Well, hello. I'm not sure what the Silky Voice is, but... God knows. Right, are we actually cleaning up in this area or are we not going to bother? I don't know, Hannah shouldn't have to clean up. Yeah, I'm not doing anything anyway, I should be cleaning. Come on, doodle bag. Right, it's the end of the day. So, let's see how far we did. At least we got past day one. We're on 12% popularity, so that's good. So, the reviews. That was good 14 times, it's Hannah served them well, the place is clean, the place looks amazing. Uh, tasty clams, that looked absolutely brilliant, got 3 out of 5 stars for that. Today we made 347.75 on orders, I put in 245 renovations. The expenditure was quite big because I was fucking around, um, so the next day should be a little bit better hopefully. Um, £2.50 for 2 dollars an hour. Get out, no wonder he's stressed out. He's not even getting paid. £1.69, £1.55. So the best sales was Tasty Clams at 31%, then chicken, that, bacon and omelette toast, and hot squid. Oof. Not sure what a hot squid's all about. Right, let's go straight into being open. We don't need to do anything. What I do want to do is make that cleaner. So now I should come in and start cleaning, technically. Here I go. Excellent. Now let's have a look and see if we can put anything on. Can we put anything stored? Yes. Not garlic. Beef pie. Right, let's order the. Oh, we need a bit more than just the garlic, but. Just make sure we've got five on all the time. As you can see, the more you have, the more obviously you've got dry goods holding in. And refrigeration, we've got 120 stored capacity at the moment. Next delivery is 10 o'clock. Any time now. Perform bake. Well, you won't at the moment because you haven't got the ingredients, but you will do. Once 10 o'clock comes. Oh, hang on. I love it, don't I? Right, who's good at the oven? Samuel and Shane. Right. That's good. So we've got, we have actually got the, um, the delivery in. We've run out of cash, so hopefully we can up a couple of prices eventually. Uh, Hannah, Michelin chef. Obviously now she's a Michelin chef, she's actually the waiter, um, but it increases the popularity of staff coming in. I'm gonna have a word with him in a minute. I have over five years of experience in the industry and you'll find that I'm very well rounded. Um, let's have a look. What's his stats? Oh, he's quite good actually. 
Okay, what's his name? Markers. Okay, let's put markers on the frying. Markers on there. Is he good at... No, he's not very good at that. Is he good at the oven? Yeah. Right. Why is everyone ill? I don't understand the illness. Why am I stressed? Oh my god. I get so stressed. Breaking point. Hannah. Just go home. I'll get Samuel to do your tables. Right, we, we're just getting in with the money, so we're doing quite well with the money side. I say these episodes are going to be about 20, 25 minutes going forward. Obviously, this one's going to be a bit longer because it's an introdu introduction of uh, of the game itself. He's brilliant on the stove. He's getting stressed, he's alright, he's alright, she's alright. Oh, I'm stressed at everything for some reason. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up in is it. Tasty clams is the one that is getting good so I'm going to put that to 34. Omelette, I'm going to go with 30. Right, let's hopefully we'll make more money now. With three and a little bit of stars we've got a 17% popularity so we're doing well. I like the contrast between the tables and one feature wall. I like that. <laughs> Alright, I've got happy when tables are full. Well, increases the cooking skill of employees nearby while it's cooking. There you go. Breaking point. Why is he getting so stressed for? Go and rest. Bloody hell, you wouldn't think I'm the owner of the restaurant. I get stressed over the slightest little things. Oh dear. Um, it, it really does baffle me that and you can get so stressed over something so minor. Obviously Hannah's not here, so the cleaning isn't actually getting done at the moment, so... Um, oh god, I better not ask myself, am I? Samuel's going to have to take over the area. We've got 16% popularity, so it's going better now. Marcus is cleaning, and everyone goes home, and it's in a very, very happy day. Everyone is happy. Absolutely beautiful. Did quite well there. It was tasty, incredible fast, delicious. Hannah obviously got sent home as well, so... Uh, the finances weren't too bad, the dishy side of it was good, super fried chicken everyone loves, tasty clams has come down but that might be because of the price, so I did increase the price on a lot of it. Um, we had a beef pie as well at 79 euros, 
absolutely brilliant. Well, guys, I'm going to leave it there because at the end of the day, it's been going about nearly an hour now. So, um, yeah, excellent. That's episode one. Obviously, we started, we failed, we carried on, and we're doing better here. It's all about trying to learn the wrong as you go along. That's basically it. Uh, but, yeah, the restaurant is absolutely going well. Right, if you like the video, then please give it a like and please subscribe. It is really wonders. Um, so, yeah, just click that subscribe button and I get videos nearly every day. Um, I've got some brilliant titles coming up um, that aren't going to be out to a long time, including The Settlers. And I'll tell you, that's a game you need to wait and subscribe to this channel for. Um, until next time, guys, thank you for joining me. This has been Doodle Bug. This has been episode one of Recipe for Disaster. I'll see you soon. See you later.